Hey everyone, I'm Dan Eastland with Dogwood Custom Knives out here at uh, Equipped to Endure Campout. And uh, we were talking in the fire last night, and as some of y'all know, I was in the infantry. And we were talking about uh, ways we used to sling a hooch with a, uh, with a poncho. So I thought, uh, I thought I'd give y'all a, a little basic instruction. And you can do it with just about anything, uh, tarp, whatever's handy. Poncho is what we used. So this is just a mil spec ripstop poncho. And what you need is a poncho, preferably some stakes, some cordage, and you can do it with a sapling or an overhaving tree branch, anything that's got a little spring to it. First thing you want to do is you're going to lay out your poncho directly under whatever branch you're going to use. Then you're going to stake your four corners down, and you want to stake them down a little bit loose. Now, I happen to have brought purpose-made tent stakes with me. As all of you know, in a, uh, in a survival situation, you've got to use what you can. Sharpen sticks. I've, uh, I've even used uh, pieces of logs or piles of dirt around the uh, perimeter of the, of the poncho to hold it down. It doesn't take a lot to hold it down. Now we got our four corners staked down, and as you can tell, it's pretty loose, and that'll make more sense in a moment. Next, take a little piece of cordage, 550 cord, and throw it up over whatever branch you've chosen. And you want that centered as close to over the hood as you can. I'll put a little slip knot in it. Uh, we also used to, uh, rather than tie a knot in, we'd keep both ends down. So if you needed to, very quickly, you just untied it from your, uh, from your poncho, pull one side and the whole thing comes down. Or you can put a slip knot in it. Now, you gather the hood of your poncho and you want to try to get it Cinch it up. You want to try to get as close down to the base as you can. And you just bring a little tension down. Now once you get the tension on it, you can come back, move your stakes around a little bit if you need to. If you need to, you can also mound dirt around the perimeter. Then it's just simply a matter of lifting up the edge, crawling in. Now, you can rake a lot of leaves in with you, make a nice thick bed. By keeping it as low to the ground as you can, you're going to trap as much of your body heat in here. In really cold situations, you get as much leaf clutter in with you 
and then you just start piling it in on the outside and it creates a really good layer of insulation. Thank y'all. If y'all have any questions, you feel, can feel free to email me at dan at dogwoodcustomknives.com, adam at equiptoendure.com, and always remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. <laughs>